automatically move files from a folder on your Mac to an external hard drive? Let me show you. Welcome back to the channel. So I get asked this question all the time. People always ask me, here I have a folder and I wanna drag some files into that folder and, and basically have them stay there, but then also copy those files over to an external hard drive, like the one sitting right here. So then they have two copies of it. So in a nutshell, you take your important files, you move it to this folder on your Mac, and then from there it stays there, but it also copies them to an external hard drive like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do this today using something called Automator. It's a way you can program it in just in a few minutes. It takes just a few minutes and you can program this thing in to make it work on any folders. And then I'm gonna show you a couple other tips at the end of the video. So if you wanna see how to do this, it's gonna take just a couple minutes. Let's get into it. All right, so the easiest way for me to train you on this is just to show you. So take a look at my computer over here. So I made a folder over here. I just called it Automator Folder Copy. It's, nothing's in here, you can see that. I just, just created that folder and threw it on my desktop. So what you wanna do here is you wanna do a couple of things. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go down here and you wanna look for a program called Automator and it's usually in this other folder down here. So go into Launchpad, click on Other and you're gonna see this like little guy here called Automator right here and you wanna double, just click on it and it's gonna open up that program. So nothing might happen, you can see nothing really happened but up here where it says Automator now on the upper left hand corner, you wanna go ahead here and just go File New and you really wanna to get to this screen right here. This is the important screen that you wanna to get to right there. So inside of here, we're not gonna get into all these other tasks here, just because I don't want to today, but we're gonna go ahead and click on Folder Action. See it right there? And this is gonna help because we're gonna be using folders. So let's just take a look and, and click on Folder Action, then click Choose right here in the, in the lower right, so Choose. So now we have this kind of little area where we can do a whole bunch of programming in here, but that's not what we're gonna do. It's gonna be super simple and easy. Just watch how easy this is. Now, what we wanna do is over on the left-hand side over here, you wanna click on Files and Folders right there. Now, I guess I can extend this so you can see it, but it basically says Files and Folders. Click on that, so you, and basically, it's gonna give you some other things down over here. See how, like, if you click over here, it changes what's in the right-hand column? You wanna make sure you're in Files and Folders. So, this is kind of the programming area over here. So, the very first thing you wanna do, and it's, it's really easy, is you wanna go Find Finder Items. See this? Not Filter, but Find Finder Items. And if you click on that, you just wanna drag that over to the right. See that? And you're gonna add it there. Now the first thing we wanna do, so you're gonna have this whole area here. Now up here at the very top, it says folder action receives files and folders added to. See that up there? First thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click on this, click other, and then select the folder, the one I created over here. We're gonna select this folder over here. See it over here? So I'm gonna to have to go over here to desktop. I'm gonna click on desktop. And there it is, Automator Folder Copy. So it's the same folder as over here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that, well not open it, but just click on it and then click Choose. So now it's got that folder name right there. Same thing right here, it's gonna say Search, Computer, right? So you don't want to search the entire computer for this, you just want it to search this folder. So again, you wanna change it to that folder name again. So here we go. So you wanna to go to Other again, right here, just like that, and then find, go to desktop. Here it is right here, it's basically the automated folder copy, same exact folder, just choose that. So now this is selected, and this is selected as this folder over here, the one we just created. Very simple. All right, so what we wanna do is anything that we drop into this folder, we want it to copy over to this external drive. This is an external drive up here in the upper right-hand corner. So anything that copies into here, we want it to stay in here, but we also want it to move over to our external drive. So if you look at this program here, it says Automator, you know, we, we selected the folder, we want basically all of the following are true. So in here, there's a lot of other things you can do any or none, but just keep that as all, and you'll see why in a second. And then down here, you could change this content to be anything, basically. You can have it, you know, long story short, you can have sizes and labels and extensions, but just leave it any content. So any content that goes into this folder, we wanna copy it over to this external hard drive. And nothing else has to be done here. And then, you know, obviously you just leave this blank right now. So the very last thing you gotta do over here, and let me just see here, you wanna go up to copy finder items next in this list over here, and you wanna take copy and move it below there. So now it's right below it. So it's gonna find something and then it's gonna copy it, all right? And so we wanna copy two, and this all we have to do here is click on this, click on other, and then we're gonna find this, this external hard drive that we wanna have everything copied to, which is right here called an Intel one terabyte. So down here is my external hard drives. I'm gonna click on that, so now it's clicked on that, and I'm gonna click choose, just like that. Now, the important thing here, and just keep, keep this in mind, and you'll see how this all works in a second, 
but this is really important. So right here, there's a checkbox that says replacing existing files. So that means every time you copy them, it's gonna basically copy over them or replace them. If you, un if you don't have this checked, it's gonna, every time you throw things into here, all this stuff will be copied over here multiple times. So you really wanna check this here so that anything in here will only be copied over here if it's new, basically. I mean, it kind of recopies everything back, but you just wanna make sure that, you know, you can fool around with it, but if you uncheck this, you're gonna be getting multiple copies over here. So I always check this box, but you can fool around as you need to. And then you know that, you know, anything in here will be only one copy will be over here. So once we're done with this, all we have to do now and we'll just go over here, we'll go up to File, and we're gonna click Save, just right there, and we're gonna save this. And then you can create anything you want. I'm just gonna say Copy, Copy to External SSD, just like that, and that's what I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna click Save. Now this program has been totally saved and it's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and minimize this here. Now what, what I wanna do next is, so of course we wanna just test this. So anything that we throw in here should end up in this file, in this over here. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just go into Finder again, open up Finder, and we're gonna go into these, let me just see here, actually let's go over here, let's go to Downloaded Pictures. So I got a whole bunch of little pictures in here just from, I got them from like InSplash or something like that. And um, let me just go over here. So all I wanna do is just take one. So let's just say like, let's just take this, uh, let me just see here, Wang Gang, see that one right there? Let's see what that picture is. It's a little picture there of some bubbles. So what we wanna do is take this picture and watch what happens. I'm gonna drag this in here, let go. Now watch what happens, up here, see this little spinning wheel? See that little wheel there? It went away though, it went away quickly. That's why it was copying it. So now what we have is we have the file that we just copied into here, you can see it in here, right? There it is. But now, if this program worked correctly, let's go into this Intel drive and let's search for it, and there it is right there. So see that? It copied it into this folder, which is our external hard drive. So let's take another one. This time I actually dragged it in, but if we actually copy, let's just say William, this William file here, I'm gonna go ahead and just go like this, and I'm gonna go copy, and then I'm gonna click over here in this folder, and I'm gonna paste just like that. All right, so you're gonna see that little gear going up here, see it? And what happened is now if we double click on this, now the file's in here, just like we expected. So we have a copy of it on the local map, on the desktop, on the Mac. But also over here, let's click on it, and there it is. So you can see that it's been copying that in both locations. So now if you have very important files, all you have to really do is make sure that you copy them from you know, any location on your, let's just say you can make this the important file folder. So anything that you really wanna double save, you can actually copy into here, and then it'll, you know it'll automatically get copied to your external hard drive, and then you have two copies of it. Obviously, you'll have three copies, really, if you copy it from the other location. You'd have that location, you'd have this location, and this location. So that's gonna be three different copies if you really want it, but I'll, although one, you know, two of the copies are gonna be in the same SSD drive, your, your local host here, which is not really the best way to do it, so at least you're getting one offset over here. So that's really cool. But I'm not gonna get too much more into this. But ultimately, once you get in here, you can kind of see what you could do though. Now, I recommend fooling around with this, creating a folder like this, because you can, with Automator, since it's programming, you could do things to your computer that you don't want to do if you don't program it correctly, right? So I showed you how to do this little part here, but you could do other things if you think about it. Let's just say you could search, for example, instead of just searching you know, the folder that I actually just said right here, um, we could actually go in here and search, for instance, our download. See that? I'm not gonna do it here, but we could change this to download loads and then what we could do is we could actually add any content no we could actually say um, a kind of content here is you know we could say a movie music a PDF you know any type of image things like that and what it'll do then is it'll actually only take the images that are going into your downloads folder and move them to here or you could have them move to a different folder that only has images in it and then you can make another one where you could only move maybe your music to one folder so you could take everything out of your downloads and move everything to these individual folders using the same method but like I said I wouldn't just trust doing it with the downloads folder first I'd always set up a test first and then you can kind of move that over to the downloads folder because you just don't want everything being moved somewhere where you don't know where it's going if you make a mistake so that's why I always say you know, when, when I created this little test folder, you know, create the test application like this first, and, uh, and then you know that it's working correctly. And then you can start getting into more complicated things in here. So that's really all I wanted to show you at the end of the day is, is if you have, you know, it's just a good way using Automator. And let me just go ahead and let me just click on Automator here like this, and then I'm just gonna go quit Automator. So I quit that, Now this will still work. So just, I mean, now that Automator is still not open, it did create this, this program. So it's still running on your system here. So what you wanna do is if you go in here, let me just go into Finder, and let's just go back into Download Pictures, and we're gonna go into, let's time this is Paula. Here's a new image here, I'm just gonna hit Copy, and then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna paste it in, just like that. 
See that? Now look at the little gear up here is working. And so Paula should be in the Intel drive over here, which is my external. There it is right there. It's alphabetical, so it went up here. But still, long story short, it worked. You can see how this works. So overall, definitely you know fool around with this, but that's one way to get things kind of multi off your computer. And at the end of the day, I think this helps. Now, Automator can do a thousand million things, and I know there's a thing called shortcuts as well, but it's just not as clean. It's actually easier in some senses and harder in others. It takes a lot more to do stuff. Automator is sometimes very quick if you can do things like this. So I just wanted to show people how to use it, and you know, you can start kind of fooling around with it, but I definitely recommend testing it, everything first. I'm not responsible if you screw up your computer. I always tell people that. It's just showing you how to do it, and then you're responsible for doing what you do. But overall, give it a shot if you want on a test folder and I think it'll help you on day-to-day -day stuff. Talk to you soon. Peace.